we will have new videos in the V Beautiful. <laughs>
And I'm just going to clean off my brush and just really just sweep the brush through just to make sure that everything is kind of like nice and soft. Even though we're doing Halloween-y, we still want to blend. So now we're going to use the other end of the brush and we're going to pick up Humble, which is this really light matte shade. And we're going to take this actually above where like the natural crease would be. So if I was doing like more of an everyday kind of look, I would probably take that color like just right up above that fold there in my eye. But because we want to exaggerate it like it is here on this eye, we're going to take it all the way up to where we did that shading and that's going to create the look of like a bigger eye in this area. But I mean like it depends on your eye shape too. If your eyes already bigger there then you could just kind of go with how your eye shape is. So really play around with it like that's the things with light and shadow with makeup you're creating shapes. So because my eye is not big right there like you see the difference between these like my eye looks huge. <laughs> on this side and it looks so much smaller right here and that's because I added that light on this side so that's essentially what we're doing and like I always say with mattes I like to tap them on if I want like a really really big payoff versus sweeping because you just I think get more color impact that way I'm just going to tap it on and again I'm taking it all the way up to where we put that brown This is actually my first time using Sigma eyeshadows and I am really impressed because I feel like mattes, especially light color mattes, are really really hard to find good ones and I was impressed by like the way these mattes were performing. So definitely a great everyday palette. And I am going to take this into that little inner corner area because I do want that to be a little more highlighted than it normally would be. Again creating that cat eye shape. So I'm just bringing that into that shadow we made. I'm actually going to add a little bit more here because I didn't go as far in as I want it to. Okay, so now you see what I mean like by the impact that that gives. I'm going to clean off my brush and then I'm just going to sweep it through at the top just to make sure that it is not just like a really harsh blob of color because I do want it to still be sort of blended. Now you'll notice we didn't take this color all the way to the edge and that's because I really want that impact to be right in here. Like if you've ever looked at a picture of like a lion or a cat staring something down, you're kind of drawn into this area and this area is kind of like a non-factor. So what we're going to do to kind of draw the eye here and not so much out here is just use a little bit of a deeper shade. So I'm going to go in with Toasty and it's that like tannish brown shade that you see right there and we're just going to tap that on from like the I guess it's like the outer third of the lid so there's still some color there but it's not giving the same impact as what we did on the inner portion of the lid and then I'm just going to blend that inward so I'm blending these two together so that they're kind of married to each other but you know, you are still getting that impact on the outer corner or inner corner where we want it. All right, so now it's time for the fun part. I mean, the main part, the eyeliner. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. And I like this one because it has a really, really fine point to it. So when you're doing like a precise kind of line, you can get in there with it but you can also kind of press a little harder and maneuver it so that you can get a thicker line when you want it so it's like the best of both worlds so if you struggle with liner in general then this is my best tip and it's also going to work for you for this look too so you could like tone it down you know for your everyday look but since we're doing a really big look I mean it's a great way to practice because you can't really go wrong you just keep adding more <laughs> you mess it up okay so I like to look straight ahead and then I see where like where that fold is in my eye and I'm just gonna go diagonally across it'll make sense as we start to do it so I'm just looking straight ahead and then I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the line so 
So that gives me like the basis of where I'm going to want to take my line. I'm going to go ahead and just go all the way across. As we get to the very, very inner portion of the lid, I do want my line to be really thin. And now I'm just going to fill it in. And once we get about like halfway filled in, that's when I'm going to start to build the line out here. So you can see like where I kind of have my guide and I'm just going to continue with where that line is. And now I'm going to bring the bottom corner up to meet it. And so now we've got the basis and I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. And because we want that really, really like intense feline look, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of liner in the inner corner. So we're going to make a little triangle in this little area right here, and that's just going to intensify that shape. Now I'm going to go in with a little shader brush, and I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette, which first of all, how gorgeous is this packaging? And we're gonna use the black shade in here. It is called Decadent. It's right there on the edge. And we're gonna use that to sort of soften this line out because I don't want it to be super, super harsh. And using a little bit of black eyeshadow is a great way to create a little bit of a smoky effect without it being like full on just soft. So I'm gonna start the bottom and give a little bit of a line on the outer corner because I do want something there but I, I don't want it again to be like a really harsh line so I'm giving a little bit of a line and then I'm just going to smudge it on up through the bottom of that eyeliner I'm also going to go a little bit through the top as well and I'm basically just going right over top of the eyeliner and that's it for the eye. I feel like this might win the award for like easiest eyeliner look ever because we only used three eyeshadows and an eyeliner, but you do have like the impact. So I was really thinking too, like, you know, if you don't like to do a whole lot, you know, we could have a big impact without having to do like a thousand steps. So now we're just going to apply our lashes. I'm using the Velour Vegan Luxe Lashes, and this is the style Wispy Me Away. Oh, before we do our lashes, I'm going to go ahead in with some mascara. So this is the Lawless Beauty One and Done Mascara, and I'm just going to give a really thin coat to my top and bottom lashes because... Again, we're putting lashes on the top and this look is really all about what's happening up here. So I don't want my bottom lashes to distract from what we've got going on. Okay, so to complete our look, we need a nose. We need a little cat nose. So I'm going in with the Lawless Beauty Make Me Blush Velvet Blush in the shade Phoenix. I have been loving Lawless Beauty lately, and so I feel like this is the perfect shade. And also, I, for some reason, when I was a kid, especially if I was a cat, we always had a black nose, but I don't think cats have black noses. I could be wrong, but I feel like they're pink. So that's why I'm going with this shade. And I'm just using a small fluffy eyeshadow brush so we can really concentrate it on our nose. And I'm going to do an up, upside down triangle shape to kind of make the little cat nose. And this is also the blush that I have on my cheeks. So I feel like it's also like tying the look together as well. And last but not least, we need a lip, because guys have lips too. So I'm gonna use our MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. Chestnut is like my go-to brown shade from MAC. And give my lip a little line. I 
And we're going to finish off with Femme de Poppy lipstick. And this is in the shade Cat's Meow. And the cool thing about this is that the woman who created this actually wanted to create the pink that mimicked Cat's lips. So I mean, how fitting for a Halloween cat look. And that's it. And you could add some Swarovski crystals. You can find crystals really at any craft store and apply them with eyelash glue. And now we are like glam on glam. You know what I'm saying? I hope that you enjoyed this glam kitty Halloween tutorial. Oh, I should have fluffed my hair back down. I moved out of my face to do my eyes. I forgot about it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. There will be new videos in the V Beautiful series coming your way. I'd love to hear what you're dressing up as for Halloween, what your makeup is going to be looking like this Halloween. Let's chat about it in the comment section and I will see you next time. Bye.